My name's Alexis Barber. I am 22 years old. I live in downtown Brooklyn and I work full time in big tech. And I'm also a content creator on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. I have a podcast called Too Smart for This and I am here to show you my apartment. So I was really debating whether or not I would share my rent in this apartment, but I think it's very important to be transparent about finances when you move to New York City because it is a very expensive city and I moved here at a time where rents were pretty low. For my apartment, which is an 18 by 13, like in terms of living space, total of 470 square feet, in a luxury apartment building in downtown Brooklyn. I pay a net rent of $1,739 for this apartment. So the regular rent is actually $3,300 or something like that. But because of COVID, I signed a 14 month lease, had at a rate of $2,050 and got two months free. So my net rent is something like $1,700. That is very unheard of and it's definitely super incredible in terms of rent. So I'm super grateful for it. But the truth is, I don't know if I'll be able to afford the actual rent. I do live in a luxury building. So that means I have a gym, I have outdoor space, I have a doorman. I feel very safe here. I really love downtown Brooklyn. I'm super close to the big stores and I'm one stop away from Manhattan. So if you are looking to move here, I definitely recommend this area. I will also be doing a video about how to get an apartment in New York City coming soon. On this channel so stay tuned for that and everything will be linked down below slash on my website www.alexisbarber.com so let's get into the video when you first walk in you have this um cover that covers not this cover this picture that covers my um electrical grid and this is the phone that calls down to the front desk and then this is a brief overview of what you see when you first walk in. So over here I have my bathroom and I have a little hook that has my jackets and an umbrella in case I need it. This is my entryway and we will start with the kitchen. So my kitchen is closed off from the rest of the apartment, which was really important to me because I did not want the smell of food ending up where my bed was. It's just very annoying. So I have a closed kitchen, which I really, really like, and it's perfect for me. I'm one person and I still have full size appliances. So here is my dishwasher. I also have a super deep, great sink, my Nespresso, trash can, and then an oven, all this stuff. And it's wonderful, honestly. I have so much cabinet space. Like, it could have been that this was open to the rest of the apartment. And I wouldn't have all this cabinet space, which is where I have my food, my coffee, all of my other stuff here, and my glassware. This has tons of storage down here. And it makes it so easy for one person to live in. So I highly, highly recommend doing a closed kitchen, but that's really personal preference. This print is, I got from a little vintage shop on an Atlantic street here, and it's just an Ikea frame. This is a motion activated trash can from Walmart. I highly recommend them, but now I feel like I, every time I'm trying to open something, like I want it to open automatically, which is not the case. Um, do not pay too much attention to this side of the backsplash, but I actually did not Ha come the apartment did not come with this backsplash I put it on it's stickers from Amazon because I personally thought it was really ugly um uh, the it had like green backsplash it was just not it so that is my kitchen when you walk in there's this little entryway here this this is a pretty long wall so I wanted to have something here and I have this little entryway table from Target and then I have my wallet, keys, AirPods, and stuff on this little tray. This little vase from H&M Home with some flowers. And this gorgeous mirror that is from World Market. Everything will be linked down below, so definitely check it out. And it'll also be linked on my website. So um, I also have this plant here. I'm not someone who loves 
color. So this is like the only color in the apartment. And then this is an overview of the space. So let's get started on this side of the apartment, which is my sleeping and office area. Um, I will show you from this angle what everything looks like. Over here is my main closet, which is really big, which is amazing. And in here I have all my clothes. I have them all on this side, clearly. You know, I love neutrals. And then I have these shoe racks down here that are so great for storage. And this is my laundry basket in here. And then over here is like the clothes I don't always wear because this is like extra jackets. This is a bunch of my boyfriend's stuff. And then down here is like seasonal. So all of this in this little Ikea Calyx unit is my summer stuff. So we'll have to get that out soon. But otherwise, this is my bed. And I don't love this duvet cover. I will update you when I get a new one, but it's just from Amazon. These are some nightstands that I got from Home Depot. Or no, I got these from Target. I got these from Home Depot and my bed headboard is from All Modern. This is pillows that are from Target and then Ikea. I really love my bed. It's so comfortable. My mattress is like a Lucid mattress, which is from Amazon or overstock or something and I love it. Um, I also utilize getting a headboard and a bed so I could use under bed storage. So down here is all my workout stuff. I have my suitcases down there, extra pillows. It's uh, glorious. I love to see it. Then we come over to my office area. So my office area is where I do all my work. Um, this is both all from Ikea. Um, I don't love my monitor, but it's what my job gave me, so I really can't be mad about it. And I have this little organizer from Muji that has the stuff I use every single day in there. Then I have my printer and my little office storage stuff and this lamp from Article. So now this is the sort of main event. This is where I spend all my time and I absolutely love how this ended up turning out. I had a different vision for it when I first moved here because I was rushed in the process. I just covered how I went ahead and redid and remade over my entire apartment in my latest vlog. So definitely check that out if you are interested on how I furnished all of this and the, watching the process behind it. But this is my living area. So... The couch here is the best couch ever. It is from World Market and it's so comfortable and soft and it's huge, but it fits in the space perfectly. And this is just a random throw that I have on um, from Ikea, but basically who cares? Then this is a little C table, which is perfect for if you live in a studio because everybody watches TV while they eat. So just get a little table and eat from there, you know, it's perfect. Um, this rug is from Home Depot. I love Home Depot. They have the best stuff and you would never know. And then this is my little um, coffee table stuff. So my boyfriend got me these flowers for Valentine's Day. I have a candle, my journals, because this is where I sit to journal every morning. And then uh, the mirror. So everyone in New York has this mirror. Massive, love it, huge fan. This is my real outfit and my real body, XOXO. Then I have this dresser. So I don't have a ton of stuff in my closet because um, all of my stuff I wear on the daily is in the dresser. So this is all sweatpants. This is all leggings and workout clothes. And this is all my underwear and socks. That's all goes in there. And then I have my TV, which is really big. I love it. I can, the reason I wanted a studio is so that I can watch TV from bed and from the couch. I had a one bedroom when I lived in St. Louis. And honestly, like, I feel like you either need a studio or you need a two bedroom. Is that weird? That's how I feel about it. Either way, we come over to my little dining area. I made these prints because I tried to find them somewhere and I couldn't. So I went to Michael's and bought the stuff and made these. Then this is a little table, like a little dining table area. And the reason I wanted to have this is so I could have this extra seating for if anybody comes over, I can just pull these out. But the thing is also my boyfriend comes over and sometimes works from here and I wanted to have a spot for him to work that wasn't my desk or just the couch. So I found this tiny little cute bistro table from World Market. I love it so much. And these chairs are from Walmart. They are amazing and I feel like they just tie everything together. 
Then I have this bookshelf, which I'm not completely done decorating, but this is, so, and I think I might want a new lamp for here, but this is a dupe of the CB2 bookshelf. It is from Amazon. It was only $200. The CB2 one is $400. It looks exactly the same. So highly recommend and love it so much. This is a storage closet. Ugh, I guess I'll give you a brief sneak peek just got tons of stuff in there like a disaster a true disaster um but yeah that's sort of how that looks but basically that is most of the apartment and if you are interested in any of the links like i said it's all linked down below so that's the whole main area and now we'll get into the perks so this is my pride and joy my washer dryer and unit it's beautiful it's wonderful i have some cleaning supplies in here too and then up there I have all my extra paper products and all the other stuff I need for laundry. Love her to death. So I love this bathroom so much. I love the marble in the shower so much. I have a bathtub. This is actually a cutting board that I use to sit um, on the bathtub. It's from Ikea and um, bath trays are like 50 bucks. So it's a major event. So then there is me, hey girls. Then in the sink area, I have this really cute hand soap and I highly recommend doing something like this where you get a pretty bottle and then just refill it with basic soap um, all the time so you're not wasting money. And then this is stuff we use every single day. So this is my toothbrush, my boyfriend's, his little stuff, my Invisalign trays, all that. And then over here, I have my skincare, which is on these little command strip hooks. These are the things I use every day. And then I have this little utility cart, which is so embarrassing. It's like all the products I get sent will go there so that I know to use them. And then like my towels are under there too. And then if I'm filming things or if I need to move stuff around, I use this cart. And then behind there is this little cute storage area. So I have all the other products I use every day or that I'm trying to use. And then down here, because it's covered by the cart, I have stuff that I don't usually use, um, but wanna keep down there. And then I'm a big fan of seeing what everybody's like inside the drawers and that type of stuff is. So in here is my under sink stuff. So I have these two things that have like all my extra products. This is a bunch of products I still use. This is my towels for washing my face. Toilet paper so it can be easy to grab when you run out extra towels, and then my makeup bag here, which is gross to look at.